Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Boris here playing some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I had a very vindicating run just now where I do think that my theory of using uh, the Wrathweaver and the Floating Watcher as just big stat dudes and not actually keeping any other demons on the board can work. Now in that game, <laughs> I, I sold off my Mulganus, forgot that I sold him off, kept taking damage from my hero power and any other demons I was playing. All right, we're gonna, I, AFK is the best choice here and I haven't actually played with the new AFK. It's kind of cool actually that you get two tier threes. It increases your odds of finding things like Floating Watcher, which can be really good. Um, and then like Pack Leader, Cobalt Guardian. It is a really, really good hero. <sighs> but I want to just do this and try to go for Pogos because that's just fun. You know what? Let's just do AFK. I do want to see what it's like drawing two threes. In some ways, that can be better than drawing two fours. Because Cobalt Guardian, Floating Watcher, those are really like game-defining cards and having an extra shot at finding them is really good. Remember that at uh, turn three, when you draw your two cards, you also get to buy from the board. So if, for example you were to see a Wrath Weaver here, you could freeze it, and then on turn three, you've got two shots to discover a Floating Watcher to go with your Wrath Weaver and just immediately start to go for really big stats. But I'm not gonna freeze any of this stuff, obviously, because I don't think, I don't, I don't see a universe where you'd actually want this. Oh, what if I get a Murloc? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna do that. All right, so we're up against Syndragosa. Who else is here? Adwin's here. Barten Lots of people playing Bartendotron. I didn't know people loved him so much. It seems like everybody hates him except for me, but I guess I am not the only one with a soft spot for just this very weak but simple hero power. Okay, Cinder Ghost takes full advantage of being up against me and wins with a crappy unit. Way to beat the system there, Cindy. Um, okay, so here you could consider freezing because this is obviously very good to get alongside your threes. You can even consider getting this alongside your three drops because Divine Shield on a three drop starts to be potentially a good thing. But I'll let the bones fall where they may. You know, I have played a lot of demons lately, but it's also kind of exciting because I, you know, I'm discovering this like new thing. I want to try it out more. So if a Wrath Weaver does show up, then it'd be nice to see if I can get a Floating Watcher combo to get that going, see what that's like. Um, but other than that, like, you know, if I roll again, I could just get a Tidehunter again and just buy it. So I don't want to commit to that. We'll just let, let it see what happens. All right, well, Rafam also has a micro machine. And you had nothing to steal with your hero power. Take that, Mr. I'll take that. All right, well, let's see what happens here, folks. What do we get? We get the Tidehunter again and a cat. Look at that. So here, a um, pack leader would be good for the cat. Doesn't happen, but we'll take a crowd favorite. I like this card a lot. And then here is something that's just really bad. Oh, goodness. I don't have any mechs, so we'll just take that. There was no mechs or battle cries there. I need to actually do this a little bit quickly. Oh, God, really quickly. Can you... Oh, my God, game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. I knew exactly... I wanted to sell the thing, buy the thing, play it, but, like, this animation for the spawn combined with the animation for the crowd favorite... Oh, I should have frozen it at least. Screwed everything up. Oh, God, that was annoying. Uh, this should have an extra plus one plus one, and I should have two extra cats on the board. And this token should not be here. Well, poor Edwin got a very unlucky draw being up against me on turn three. Nothing you can do about that, really. All right, well, this is terrible, so I guess we will just fish for a battle cry here. Oh, gods. Okay. Well, when in doubt, take the stats. This is not really a 5-4. It's actually a 4-4 because it's counting the other Murkai. Should I freeze this? That's an interesting question. It is a lot of stats. So it would actually make them both real 5-4s. But no, I'd rather get some battle cries. The plus 2 health Murloc would be a battle cry. That would be nice. I probably should have even like I should have even like sold the token and taverned up. I mean, I had two gold left over. It was it was a terrible turn. I thought I had plenty of time to think about my choices on the discoveries, and then I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but the animations were just too long. Ugh, that was annoying. Well, anyway, so here we're trying to build up a crowd favorite. This is a very flexible strategy. We could really still do anything from this point. This could even potentially get built up to be a big thing. Wow, 9-7. I've always thought, like, hey, now that this has dropped in tiers, it could actually be good just as a huge stat thing early on. All right, well, we're going to win this. Thanks to our Murkai and this Finkel and Einhorn. All 
All right. Well, this would only buff one thing. I could sell like this Psychotron and this, and I could buy three things. I can get this, this, and that. But I'm not sure that selling this is actually worth picking that up. It's just not quite good enough. Even if it does buff a Rat Pack. Well, if it buffs a Rat Pack, it's actually pretty good. All right, we're going to do it. I could be wrong about this. I could even potentially be wrong about what I'm choosing to sell. It might have been better to keep the Psychotron and uh, sell off the 2-1. But I figure the Murloc is better than... Well, is the Murloc better than the Mech? I mean, not really. Maybe I should have just kept the 3-4. Maybe I could have built it up. It comes with Taunt and Divine Shield, so you build up its stats. It can be a really good thing. Okay, I think this might be able to go either way. It kind of depends on if this gets to do its full six attack again. Because I kind of need the attack to kill off this Rack Weaver. Although the Wrath Weaver's already taken some damage. Yeah, we should be fine. So, with the Rack Pack at three, I definitely don't mind seeing a Hyena, a Pack Leader. Or, um, Taverning Up. Actually, I think I still need to Tavern Up to three, don't I? I do need to Tavern Up. I'm not Taverned Up. I'm only at two. <laughs> okay. Well, should I Tavern Up this turn? Uh, I don't have any mechs. So that, oh, I do. The Zubat's a, a mech. I guess I could get Zubat and the Mem, and just for, the, for like the short term, have that be a thing. I would have to sell off this 5 2. Hmm. Um, okay. We'll do that. It's just a short term thing. So we'll roll. That's a triple. Wow. Okay. Can I sell off one more thing to get there? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get there right now. It's not ideal to have this 4-4, but I think it's worth it. Just to get this now and get the tier 3 discovery. Maybe a pack leader. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I play this out in time? Yes! Okay, great. Well, that was a substantial power increase. I don't even really care if this pack leader gets sniped. This is such a weak board. It's okay if the Rat Pack does... Like, there's not that much stuff here that can even kill the Rat Pack, really. So it's not that big of a deal if the rats have extra attacks since everything has one health. Or b b neither one of them could die, just neither one of them dies. That also works. Man, Syndragosa got demolished here. This is a very short-term board. We're not even a gold... But we're not even a gold 10 yet, and it's, it's really, really high stats. However, this is obviously going to trail off. It's just a bunch of junk that happens to have high stats at the moment. God, this is the day of the Zubots. Okay, I think I need to tavern up... And this is a hunk of junk. So we'll sell that. We'll play the hyena. I am actually going to play the hyena before the Zubot because I want the hyena to get buffed rather than the Rat Pack, if at all possible. And it did. Very nice. War Leader is kind of awkward to have as your one and only Murloc, but I can easily sell that off later. I don't have to even necessarily go with Beasts. What is the deal here? I think we want the Rat Pack to die early-ish. So basically what I'd like is to sell off the Zubot and I think probably the 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, this thing is just sort of junk and this thing could get poisoned. So it's probably better than the 10-6 even though it has worse stats. So yeah, maybe we sell off both Zubots. There's no triple potential here because this is already a triple. So we sell off both Zubots. We want to get like a Taunt Divine Shield or just some good cards. Because right now my cards all just happen to have high stats, but they're not going to scale, and they don't do any useful things. Oh, my Hina got sniped. Uh, do I still win this? I've got to still win this, right? How do I not win this? Even if the pack leader had gotten sniped, I couldn't see myself losing this thing. I still have 7 health here, and this thing only has 5 attack. It's not coming back anymore. I mean, the Divine Shield is not coming back anymore. Okay, so I see it's a little bit of a narrower win now. The, each turn that goes by, my random ragtag team of misfits is going to get weaker and weaker. We can try to tavern up and put together a a beast game. Well, for beasts, you want to get up there. You know, Mama Bear at six is good. The Wolf at five. I think I'm going to just ride the wind one more time. So there's two good options here. This would buff my War Leader, my crowd favorite, and either the Hyena or the Rat Pack. Um, the problem with this is what do I sell to make room for it? If I sell the other one, that kind of defeats the purpose, right? Because I'm trying to get a triple. That's like the other benefit of this. This is just a better card because it gives everything plus one, plus one, and it's really, really good. I think I'd actually just rather not care about the whole triple business. All right. 
there's no max. I could give the Rat Pack Taunt. I don't think this is worth keeping, though. I just taverned up. I'd rather get a roll at four and try to uh, get some better cards. Oh my god, my baby's waking up. How is this possible? He went to bed like less than 40 minutes ago. Baby, go back to sleep. Be a good baby. Okay, well, he, this guy got an early poison murloc, which could be scary. Oh, that thing had... That ha that golem had microbots as well as its built-in thing. Although this is actually not as close to looks because the rats are going to spawn seven rats. So it's uh, it was actually very, very clearly a win. I could have actually taken a whole bunch of damage had this rat pack, rat pack been popped. Okay, baby's quieting down. I'm hopeful I can not have to go there. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab the crowd favorite, number two. And this buff on my hyena to keep the hyena alive. And let's get another hyena. Do I want to? Yeah, I want to try to triple a hyena. Let's just go for the whole thing and we'll go full board beasts. So we need room for the other guy. Time to let go of this murloc. We need room for the other hyena. Which means we either get rid of pack leader or the spawn of Nazoth. Um, Alright, we'll keep the pack leader. Although that could potentially be the wrong play. Let's go ahead and buff the bigger one of these. And that's a rotating slot that I have. I can easily put something else in here. Unfortunately, there's really nothing that came up here. I could just Defender of Argus, both of my crowd favorites. Or one of them and the Rat Pack, maybe. Okay, we'll try it. I'm not sure if this is correct, but we'll see what happens. Nothing there. Okay, so let's go for the bigger one and the Rat Pack. Uh, we're at 10. Let's do a Divine Shield Popper. And, yeah, the Rat Pack's got Taunt now, so I don't need to put it all that early. It's nice to have some other stuff die. And then maybe this Rat Pack, you know, spawns a few extra rats. I don't, I'm not concerned about getting, like, a zillions of rats. Like, if I get a couple of rats, I'm basically okay with it. This person actually got a Gentle Megasaur. Luckily, it did not seem to get Divine Shield or Poison. Four rats? Amazing. Completely happy with that. This is actually a little bit close. This person has very large stats, even though he didn't get Poison on him. Um, he did get just a lot of stats in general. Luckily, my hyenas, thanks to my taunts, did not get sniped super early. And we're getting some good trades here. These guys got built up nice and fat. He even survived a hit for two extra damage. The pack leader, though, was going to carry me there. Okay, so very narrow win against Yogg, though Yogg was at the top alongside me. I'm at the very top. Okay, so here, this is actually attempting pickup. Because it gets buffed by the pack leader, and the wolves also get buffed. That would be my last spot on the board, though. So the ideal scenario would be if I could actually get a triple crowd favorite, because then I'd have room for this as a card. Then again, I also want the wolf. Yeah, oh, this can also get tripled. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is take this turn to try to get a triple. And the next turn, if I don't get a triple this turn, or if I do, I'm going to go up to five to try to find the wolf manually. But I have two things that can get triples, so it's worth shooting for it, I think. This is tempting. I think it's time has passed, though. I don't want another rat pack, although I would have... Oh, God, I need to roll faster. All right. Um, okay. Is this going to be just a turn that I wasted to do nothing? I don't have any max. I could get this randomly. That seems weird. Maybe that was the correct play. Christ. Okay. Well, this is stupid, but... We're just doing it to do something this turn so I didn't completely waste my turn. And then I sell this and I get a gold back. And so next turn I'm going to go up to five, try to find a wolf. I mean, obviously at five I could still find triples. It's just I really wanted to get one this turn to clear up the space for another card. And I think a turn is about as much time as I had to try to find that triple. Okay, so he's got a very huge machine. Luckily, the health on this is not huge. And this taunt is going to protect my hyenas for another attack or two, which is great. So they each get buffed by these dying rats. Perfect. So I got full hyenas. Is that going to be enough? Uh, yep, just barely. And this person is dead. Two plus four. Oh, okay, that's good. I think Syndragosa could have come up there. That was a very narrow win. She, I mean, she's in last. I'm in first. That was a very narrow win for that kind of a margin. And Edwin died, so we're top five. Lovely as well as doubly. Okay. So do I get this thing? No, I think I want to take one roll, and I can still buy something. 
And it's junk. This is the wrong buffer. Okay, I can still solve a Houndmaster and buff something. Yep. Uh, well, this would be better if I had anything other than beasts. So what I think I'm going to do is sell this and then buy one of these two as a temporary thing. This is a plus two, plus one to my Rat Pack or one of my Hyenas. This is just a three, four taunt Divine Shield. Well, I got two taunts. I'm going to grab this. This could potentially stick around for more than a turn. I mean, a plus two, plus one buff isn't completely awful for a turn or two. I do have 36 health. I've only lost my first two fights. So what does that put me at? Like an eight win streak? This guy's also on a win streak and could very easily beat me. I've really stalled out. Although this has been a pretty well-functioning board. I've been able to get like almost full value from the rats and then all the rats have been dying before the hyenas could die. Like it's been really nice. So I'm looking for another hyena. Yeah, I, don't, I have one gold card, which I've already sold off. It was like a random gold zoo bot early on. So I still need to get a gold crowd favorite or a gold hyena, free up space for other cards. Oh man, that was a bad snipe on the hyena. I probably should have had the higher health hyena there, shouldn't I? So very low value for the rats, only three rats. And one of my hyenas is dead. Okay, luckily I killed off his poison, but that was my biggest guy, so I'm not sure how lucky that really was. So now we're, the hyena's unprotected. Pack leader's gone, but he does not. he's not needed anymore. And that pogo is gonna carry it for my opponent. Well. Kind of. This thing is the thing that actually survived, but the pogo was the thing that was going to kill my hyena. Because the hyena could have killed this, and I think the two won after it. Okay, so we took a loss. It's not the end of the world. That's the nice thing about having health, is you can take that loss. So this is actually okay with pack leader, because the things that spawn out of it are pretty good. They're better than spiders. I'm going to just grab it to make sure this turn is not completely wasted. I don't know how strong Yogg has gotten. Plus two, plus two in my taunts? Fine, we'll do that. That could be a mistake, though. That could be overly passive. This. Hmm... Well, this does work with the pack leader pretty well. And there's another pack leader here. Okay. So let's sell off the enforcer. And I have to sell off one more thing then, don't I? If I actually want to keep both of these cards. Do I give up on the on the crowd favorite? It's just a 7-7 seven, seven here. Yeah, I think I just got to get rid of it. I'm not going to get another pack leader. I don't have enough room for everything I want. So, yeah, we'll get a cave... Hydra, this will rotate through. We'll play this. I mean, I could actually get another pack leader, but I think I'll just roll and try to find a triple. I don't think I want... Actually, I do. Oftentimes, it's incorrect to take a second cave Hydra. But in this particular case, where it's going to get buffed by the pack leader, I actually don't mind just keeping it. Just having two Hydras instead of like a Hydra and a Hyena. Or, oh, hey, uh, yeah, okay, okay, well, there's the board full of, that's six, Divine Shield, Poison Murlocs, and they have enough health that even with my spawning rats and spawning hyenas, I am not going to be able to kill them, like, this thing just took a hit and lived, um, so yeah, I lose, I'm not dead, I'm at 30 health, so basically this becomes a game of don't get matched with Yogg, I have an advantage in this game compared to the Rat King and the Farian, which is that I have was just I was just matched with Yogg, so I will not be matched with Yogg next time. <laughs> okay. And that means one of them will, and then hopefully like the other one doesn't die, and then I get to just get paired up against a ghost. But basically I just you just don't want to see Yogg and try to squeeze up to top three or top two. So there I've cashed in a lot of my bonus health. So what did I do that kept this? I mean, this pops their Divine Shields off. I guess, I don't know, if it's not entirely hopeless to be up against Yogg, that's a thing to consider. Okay, there's nothing there for me. Cute, but no. Another pack leader. I could go for a triple. Oh, it'd just be nice to get this Hyena tripled up. The nice thing about this, though, is it'd buff my Cave Hydra more if I sold off. What, if I just gave up on the triple thing and just sold this Hyena? Okay, we'll do that. I ran out of time, I think, to find that triple. So I'll sell this hyena, play the pack leader. Oh, right, I need to, I need more space. Oh, geez. Um, you know what? I think the time has come for both hyenas. Let's just play that. Oh, I should have maybe rolled first. Okay, looking for a hyena or a pack leader. Well, can't quite find triples today, apart from the random early Zubat. 
So let's put our big, actually let's put the little cleave first for divine shields, I guess, and then this. And we'll, yeah. I could try to put something in between these to protect the pack leader, but if one of them dies, it isn't the end of the world. I am not way ahead, Mr. Tavern Keeper. Sorry to tell ya. Joke's on you, I don't have any divine shields! Ha, that's my pro strat that I always use against Nefarian, is just not having any divine shields, making his hero power minimally useful. That's a pretty good thing to flip out of a Sneeds. And he gets his divine shield back. Luckily, I get a couple of big hyenas. But unluckily, this is another 14 strength hit. Okay, that was a pretty good cleave. It, oh, God, that was a really good one. Luckily, I get a big board of rats. But unfortunately, one of the pack leaders died, so they all have three less attack. I might just lose here. I think this is a lot of health to chew through. Too much. I shouldn't, like, die. But I don't think I can power through all this stuff. And this junk bot and that divine shield. Yeah, this is just all over. Baron is a bit, a bit of an unfortunate spawn that is an extra five damage. I mean, it, it, if it had been anything else, I would have still taken some damage, but not as much as five. Probably I'd still be dead after one more loss. Okay, so can I get the ghost? Ghost, ghost, oh, lose the coin flip, get the yog instead of the ghost. Well, I don't think I can win this. Uh, so I'm just guaranteed to get third, but let's roll the bones. See if we can get a triple. Uh, it's a 3-3, but it's not a pack leader. Not quite the right thing. Oh, he got a gold. How nice for him. How nice for him. That would have been nice earlier. Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, thanks. There's the crowd favorite. I don't have enough gold, and I already sold the other one. And would there have been a gold? No, there's the hyena after I sold them both off. So, yeah, we're done here. His Murlocs, like, three rounds. Was it three rounds or two rounds? Yeah, I, I fought him as much as possible. I fought him right after he got the Poison Divine Shield Murlocs. Maybe he had him for a turn before that. And then I fought him as soon as it was humanly possible to fight him again. All right, well, that's cool. So we get rid of three Divine Shields, but the thing is these actually have enough health that even if you get rid of their Divine Shields, it's still not good enough. Yeah, the thing is with with the 2-3 Murloc that gives your Murlocs plus two health, and now this new King Bagurgle at tier five that gives them plus two health. I mean, yes, that one also gives plus two attack, but the fact that it gives two health is the important part. I really just wish that like one of those things wasn't in there. I mean, I could be wrong. Obviously, you got to give the game some time to level out and see how things shake out in the end but um it does seem like this murloc thing is not as good for the game as it is bad but hey i will take my third place finish thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it please like and or subscribe and i'll see you again soon take care and congratulations to yog on a well-fought victory